is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso on S3. And for this Tuesday morning, we want to get into a bit of fitness. And something that many people don't know is that your abs and core are in fact two different muscle groups. Now, your core is a group more than 20 muscles in the lower back, stomach, and hips. And the abs is a small fraction of this large and dynamic muscle group. The core muscles work together to keep the spine stabilized, maintain an upright body position, as well as being critical for bending forward, backwards, and twisting from side to side. And here to take us through some of the different exercises for these key muscle groups is personal trainer Heinrich Basson. Heinrich, you are super duper tall, but of course today the focus is all on the core and our abs. Yes, I mean, the whole aim behind what we're trying to achieve today is just to kind of get across, I want to say, empower, enhance, and kind of just educate people as to, you know, what the difference is between the core and the abs. You know, it's two different completely segments. And I mean, if you kind of want to look at it from a very simplistic point, of view. You know, you want to say abs kind of more the cosmetic side of things and the core kind of like the real engine room. Okay. So you kind of want to feel good, but I suppose you also want to look good as well. Sure. So why and not have best of both worlds? Exactly. And a lot of people just focus on the abs because yeah. they just want, you get mooi voor blank on a stink or something like that. Isn't <laughs> there a saying like that? <laughs> I probably bought it. It works. It works. Okay. So, so when it comes to the core or even the abs, there's one thing I always struggle with is just simply doing crunches. Tell me there's more to it than just simply doing crunches. There is. There's, there's a whole world behind it. I mean, if you look at core itself, again, it's not necessarily just stomach movements. It's around your midriff. So, okay. I mean, anything where you kind of just rotate around your spine or rotate around the midriff, that's the most important thing. Ab work is generally contraction-based. So, you're okay. going to have to do a few crunches, but there's different variations to it, which we'll sort of get into. Well, let's get into it. So, the first one, we're actually going to be lying flat on our back. Again, just to kind of talk through, you know, why this is quite nice to include. And I want to say your workout routine is it's, it's really made for that. The average person is made for the absolute gym jock. It's made for everybody in between. So you can just gauge according to what your fitness level is. So you're going to be lying flat on the back to start off with. We're going to go opposite limb. So right hand, left leg. As you're going up, you're trying to lift your entire torso off the floor and you're trying to meet halfway. From there, you're going flat down again and we're just alternating sides. So as I mentioned, as you kind of grow into the exercise, if you can't get up all the way, that's 100% fine. It's really okay. just about ensuring that you try and lift the torso off the floor. That's the main, main aspect. Okay. And that's again, one of our ab-based movements. Now, if you turn it around and you try and look at, okay, cool, what's a core-based movement? Something that kind of complements it quite nicely. I find that we're gonna flip over and you're gonna be in sort of a push-up base position. So for this exercise, it's all about trying to getting the glutes up. So it's okay. a pike movement. So as you are on all fours, all you're doing is you're ensuring that you're reaching opposite hand, opposite leg, towards the foot. Oh, go. so you don't have to lift the foot. No, no, no. Feet stay nice and flat, and you're just trying to stay square. So I mean, the main, the main important aspect here, if you kind of look at as you keep going, is as you touch the opposite hand to the opposite foot, you're trying to get the glutes up to the ceiling, trying to keep the legs nice and straight, and then ensuring that you get back to level. That's the most important thing here, actually. Okay. Getting back to a completely horizontal, and yeah, that's perfect. And then again, oh. fitness level based on, I kind of want to say, how you want to get around the exercise, it depends on the fitness level. Okay. Yeah. So again, just another example of another ab-based movement which you could get into, and this is probably sort of, I want to say, the more mainstream side of things, would be your sit-up, but there's no reason to just do a normal one. So if you're looking at it, you're kind of going to get the feet together, okay. ensuring that as you go back, you're going to do, again, a sit-up variation to an, to an extent. So you're going flat on the floor, from there, you're going completely upright. And again, it gives you a nice target to reach. Does that make sense? Okay. This so, is definitely different. Yeah, it's a few variations. <laughs> I mean, why make it boring? You might as well make it exciting. Make it exciting. Exactly. Okay, so, one more. more. So, you're going down and back up once again. Okay. So, again, you're welcome to, if you have anybody nearby, whether it's brother, sister, family, whoever it is, they're welcome to hold your feet down as well. <laughs> Just yeah, anchor it down. Up. Exactly, all about anchors. And then, again, if we're looking at another core-based movement, again, just to sort of alternate things off, it's all about just sustaining your body weight. So, in a push-up position once again, and this time, all you're gonna do is raise the arms. So, if you're looking at raising the arms, you want to try and keep the body as still as possible. You want all the stabilizers to be working. So really try and, I want to say, envision the fact that you want to be as steady as possible. Yes. Okay, that's what it's that's about. That's the goal. So from there, in a push-up position, all you're doing is you're raising your right hand up. Doesn't need to be a massive raise, just there. From there, back down, alternate. 
and back. So once again, as you can do, as you can feel most likely, and if anybody's doing it at home right now as well, you can feel that as you lift the arm, the hips do want to start rotating or just lifting up and down. Yeah. So that's the aim and the challenge within it, to really try and focus on keeping the back flat. The, hip, the hips will move slightly, but it's about, I want to say, limiting that aspect. Okay. okay. Well, Heinrich, this was amazing. Thank you for showing us how to not only tackle the abs, but to really focus and work on the core. We can refresh here. We've got some Manhattan iced tea, but thank you so much. Where can people find you on social media so that they can stay up to date because you're a personal trainer? So my social media handle is Heinrich with a couple of E's at the end. Um, with that being said, um, I'm in and around the area of the southern suburbs as well. So if anybody's in and around, I want to say, the area, I do run my practice out of Virgin Active Stenberg. We have a private practice for non-gym members as well. And then uh, some online and corporate elements to it as well. Oh, fantastic. Well, Heinrich, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed that ab and core workout.